Data-driven decisions. That's the name of the game because you can have all the best videos out there. You can be the best content creator out there. It can still go to waste if you don't use the tool. Now, I'm not affiliating for FastMoss. You will not find any links down there in the description. And no, I'm not selling any kind of course because, well, I don't have a course. All these other people have course. Well, I don't have. I just happen to use this tool because it is very important for your time. FastMoss is a tool for TikTok analytics, and it's a very popular one. But in a nutshell, it is simple, right? It'll just show you the data that is already out there for a price, of course. When you log in inside, this is going to be your dashboard. And as you can see, you can get a seven day free trial and you can see for yourself if this works for you or not. Can you find any products? Is it working in your own niche? What are other creators doing and promoting? And you can just click on let's go. And of course, all you need when you're just starting out is this one, the basic plan. It is free for seven days and later on, it's going to be $14 per month. It's one of the least expensive tools out there. You've probably heard about Kalo data. You've probably heard about Show Plus and I made some videos about them. This one is the least expensive. Use what you want. Today, I'll show you how to use this tool and what kind of filters to use. Because as I've told you, you can have like Brad Pitt starring in your content on TikTok. If you don't use the right, the winning products, it's just a waste of your time and money. All right. Brad Pitt is expensive, right? So if you pay him a lot of dollars, you know, it's just going to go down to waste. So when you make yourself an account, just you just click on start for free here, you will fill some basic info about yourself. And then this, of course, is going to be your dashboard. So why are we here? We want to find the products. And here on the left hand side here, you have the most important part, product search. You want to find for products that have firstly good commission rate. Then you just want to be sure that there is not a lot of people competing for the same product. All right. So right away, first of all, you see the category section here. This is where you choose your niche. You can just expand this by clicking here. And then you've got all of these niches and sub niches, such as let's say that you're into tools and hardware. Then you just go down to hand tools or power tools. Let's just say that you have an account which is inside of this niche and you just want to create some content with electric drills. You click on it, you select it, and let's just say that you want to visit some pet supplies as well. So you have, for example, another account for it or your friend has it. So let's just go with vitamins and supplements for pets. Click on it, you know, hide this category. You don't need it anymore. Then filter out the commission rate. Now, a lot of people will tell you, oh, go for the highest commission rate. Well, that's not the case with me because sometimes you can find a really, really good product, which is high in price and has low commission rate. And it's still better than most of these that have higher commission rate. So I use, for example, 15 to 30 in my first search, or you can just go with commission rate all. You can't do some of these things with the basic plan, but for me, the most important is the unit cell. You don't want to go for the highest one because this just means that there's a lot of traffic. There's a lot of people competing for the same product and yeah, it's just selling well. So just don't overdo it. 500 to 1000 is totally okay. And when it comes to pricing, you know, you don't want to go over like $100 because the TikTok audience is just, you know, it's younger generation. They don't have $100 to spend on TikTok. I mean, it's most of the cases. Maybe down the road, a few years from now, a lot of older people will start to use TikTok and they have jobs. They can just, you know, they have purchasing power. But for now, just stick to the products that are less than 100 bucks. And then down there, you have all these products. For example, you see the commission rates here for some of these, for some of these you don't. But the unit sell in the last seven days is really important because as I've stated at the beginning, you need the product that people want. If you find the product that people want, the product that is selling, you can have mediocre content, right? You don't have to have like top pro content. You can have some basic content creation skills. You don't even have to have a lot of followers in order to be profitable with this one. But I got to tell you, though, this is not easy. This is not a get rich quick scheme and you can't quit your job, which you have. You can't quit your nine to five until you're 
totally sure you can live off of this. This is a side hustle at the start, right? So you have to practice a lot and then you have to see all of these products. Let me just show you. If you click on this, let's just say this is like home gift, electric, drill, whatever. You have everything on this place. First of all, down there, you've got some overview of selling. This looks good. It goes up and down, but it's good. You know, it's not just down and it's not just like trending. And, you know, if it's just trending and growing soon, a lot of people will start getting this product as well. But what is really important are the videos, right? Here, you see how other people are doing it. For example, this person sold 35 of these with this video, right? So you can always watch these videos and you can learn from other people that are older than you, right? I mean, platform older, not like age older. So you can just learn from these competitors of yours because that's the only way. Just see and recreate with your own touch. So you can always watch these videos. You can visit TikTok video homepage. You can visit the creator. You can see how much followers this person has. And then you just know what to expect. So that's the first thing. When you go into the product, you can see the videos. But if you want to find the best shops, you can just click on the shop search button here. And then this will list out all the best performing shops that are selling their products really well. And then you can start from there, of course. You can go with your niche. Let's just go with kitchenware. If you're into kitchenware, you will find all of these that are performing, their products are performing really well. And then you can start from there. Let's just say that you take this one, Karoti. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Here you can see what kind of products they have and you can see their growth, you can see the creators, you can see like these products of theirs, as you can see promoted products. You can click on more and you will see what kind of things they're selling. Now, the next option is creator search. This is just for you to see what other people are doing and I've already spoken about it. So I will not keep myself here for much longer. I just wanted you to know that there's a separate tab for creators where you can see what and how are other people doing it. But the main thing is the product tab. You can even go to top selling here. And yeah, you can just go to categories and let's just click on home supplies. And then you can just use the time filter, which is daily, weekly, and monthly. So let's just see what has been selling in the last month. It is this deodorizer, whatever it is. And the same goes with this one. You go inside of the product, you can see all the data, all the creators, and all the shops that are using this. So you can just start it as well. And of course, it's easy to decide if you want to waste your time on this product, if you see what other people are doing. And of course, are you able to recreate the videos in a way that these people are doing? It's not complicated, but you have to sit there and you have to do the research a lot and you have to pay for this tool. So it'll just come down to you. The more time you invest, the more effort you invest, well, it's just gonna be better for you. You don't need anyone else on the internet to tell you what to do or to sell you their course or whatever. You just need this tool. And as you've seen, it's pretty simple. So I wish you good luck and I'll catch you in the next one.